we landed yesterday. It is actually 8.30, but outside it looks like it could be 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, yesterday we walked around downtown Ushuaia for a little bit. We ended up having to take a nap. Today, we pretty much did the same thing. Um, we went to go get these this giant king crab and continued walking around. Um, Ushuaia is not really like a the destination of this trip. It's really just like the starting point. So we just got back from um, dinner. We had like a little meeting and we met everyone, kind of went over what to expect, um, what's it gonna be like. And then tomorrow at one o'clock, we are heading to the boats, um, getting checked out of Argentina, getting kind of settled in on the boat. And sometime around like three-ish, three, four o'clock p.m. tomorrow, we're going to head down the Beagle Channel and head towards Antarctica. There is a storm that's blowing roughly 30 knots of wind, but um, instead of going through that immediately and getting really beat up, at the start of a 600 mile crossing, we're gonna tuck into, I wanna say it was Port Williams, and anchor there for the night, and then kinda wait for the storm to blow over, and then we should be leaving Argentina area Thursday morning. So tomorrow's Tuesday, it's all dependent on the weather. So the boat we're going on is a 53 foot steel sailboat called the Sarah W. Vorwerk. The skipper or captain of the boat is named Hank and he has made this trip over 60 times on this boat alone. I think he's been to Antarctica like 100 times and he's not like number one person that's been like the most times doing this trip, but I know he's like top three. He's been to Antarctica a lot and he started sailing when he was 12 years old. So he has a ton of experience. Actually, everyone on the boat is has a sailboat or is into sailing. So it's kind of fun meeting everyone, talking about sailboats and YouTube sailing channels like Atticus. So there's a couple from New York, a guy from England, a guy from Alaska. Yeah, so I don't really know where we're going exactly other than Port Williams tomorrow. Um, other than that, it's just kind of where the weather's good, where the crew all want to go, what we're feeling like. I know that we're going to be on land quite a bit. And Laurent previously was on a cruise ship and he said like most of the time when you get on land, there's like four crew members and they're kind of marking like your boundary of where you can go. He's like, that's not the same for you. Go wherever you want, go in pairs, preferably stay within view of the boat. But like, other than that, like roam around, do your own thing. Like if you want a guide, I'll guide you. If you want some photography tips, I'll give you some tips. But other than that, this is your trip. Do with it what you can, do with it what you want. And yeah. One thing I think is funny is they brought a hundred bottles of wine on the boat, just red wine. 100 bottles of red wine for nine people. Oh, I should probably say this. It's 21 days long. Um, I assume I probably won't have cell service tomorrow. I know that we're doing the polar plunge, which is you jump off the boat into the Antarctic waters. I know that there's a Zodiac or a dinghy on board. Um, I know that there's, I think there's snowshoes. If not, then it's just like walking around. I don't know, we're just going to Antarctica and we're gonna see whatever it is there is to see and we're gonna do as much as we can do. And maybe on the way back, depending on weather, we could possibly go to Cape Horn, which would be really interesting. But technically that's in Chile. So we'd have to like go through like, I don't know, customs or something like that on a boat. This is a unique experience. Um, Right now I'm looking at a cruise ship and a cruise ship is more comfortable, but comfort's not exciting. <laughs> this is more of an adventure, an experience. I know that it's not going to be comfortable. We're basically in bunk beds and it's going to be rough because a cruise ship is larger and it's not going to be gourmet food, but it's, it's gonna be really entertaining. There's a guitar on board. 
there's gonna be a lot of sea stories and I know Hank is into grilling so there's gonna be barbecue at some point and I'm turning 30 at some some destination in Antarctica so I don't know we'll see what we'll see here is the view from my room you can see that there is a cruise ship giant one right there there's a I'm not sure if that's like a research boat or something and I think the red one next to it is a fishing boat over there is the Argentine Navy and behind the cruise ship there's another hmm, it looks like a cargo ship can't really tell but there's the port here is the street view of where we're at weather is about 50 40 50 degrees and it's about 9 p.m. right now and this is how bright it is and then here is a quick little room tour um, because we're going on a sailboat we obviously didn't have a whole lot of room to bring stuff so we each have one bag there's like I have this one duffel bag with everything in it and then my backpack that has 30 pounds of stuff this thing is I may have brought an extensive amount of camera stuff. It might be a little ridiculous. The amount of batteries that I have is kind of stupid. I re fully regret how much I brought. A little bit of a charging station, making sure everything's good to go. And then here is the very messy bathroom. Not a great tour, nothing fancy, but here it is. Going to Antarctica. Finally going to Antarctica. Yeah.